We're talking with men's tennis head coach Grant Asher. Coach, you had a bit of a younger team this year, two juniors, five sophomores, and a freshman, and finished just out of the playoffs. Where does that leave you uh, heading into the summer here? Well, we've got, Joel, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, yes, it was a young team, as you said, and we knew that up front, um, losing two of our seniors and Patrick Troy and, uh, and Piotr, you know, our two-time player of the year. Uh, we knew we were going to have a young team, and uh, we, the guys battled hard. But as you said, with two juniors and a bunch of freshmen and sophomores, uh, you're going up against a pretty strong conference and a lot of seniors. So uh, this summer we've got a lot of work to do. I've challenged the, the uh, gentlemen to, to uh, strengthen their bodies and to play a lot of matches and to get tough, and we're very excited for next year. We have a bunch of incoming uh, freshmen and transfers and we've been waiting for four years for next year. We feel very strong about next year. Talk about Chris Chung and Cesar Serrano. They paired together, went on a streak. They won eight straight doubles matches together. Last year they just played once. How did, how did that come to be? Well, I think early in the season they, they started to form some chemistry with each other and having fun and complimenting each other, which is the signs of good uh, – good doubles team and uh, so we stuck with them and they started to get some victories and their confidence started to build and they went on a long streak I think at one point in time they might have won eight eight in a row or somewhere in there and so they're they're both very skilled players and when they're confident they're a very difficult team to beat. We had Alex Lazinski who was uh, second team all horizon league and also Nick Ptolemy both of those guys you're trying to to fill the, the number one position left by uh, Piotr's for last year. How, how tough was that coming into the season, to lose a guy like that? Well, to lose Pete, um, you know, he's irreplaceable, uh, not just with his, his skills on the court, but his leadership and his character. Uh, Pete was a guy who, after his match was over, would go watch um, the reserves play and cheer him on. He was a guy that would walk into battle with his shoulders back and full of confidence. So I don't think you can replace that. But I think Alex and uh, and Nick, they did a great job. I mean, Alex was uh, my MVP and had improved quite a bit from his freshman to sophomore. He's only a sophomore. So he's battling holding that one spot down against kids that are seniors. And this conference is very becoming very competitive. So I was very pleased with Alex. Um, I look forward to see what Alex can do the next two years. And uh, Nick had an outstanding summer, um, went down and, and did very well in an ITA at Western Michigan. And uh, had, took a fall injury and had a little bit of a setback. But towards the end of the year, I felt pretty confident that he was moving in the right direction. And coach, just to wrap up, is there uh, something that stands out this year as as a highlight of the year? You had a stretch of four wins in five matches. You had Serrano and Chung rattle off eight straight doubles wins. Is there one of those or something else that kind of stands out from this past season? Well, I think I think we're moving in the right direction. I think those four wins was great to beat those mid-level schools that are well coached to uh, get those wins fairly easy. Um, to, was probably the highlight. Uh, certainly Cesar and Chris's uh, eight match streak was great. Uh, I think Alex Ladzinski, um was a great highlight for me personally, just that he uh, stepped up as, as our leader, um, as a guy that I could count on on a day-to-day um, in practice and day-to-day in matches. Um, so I think that was probably the highlights. Uh, and, you know, next year I think I'm looking forward to a lot more highlights. <laughs>